My name is Sarah Lian. I'm an actress, TV host, entrepreneur. Um, what do I do? <laughs> I feel like I wear many hats, but currently I'm focused on creating retreats and safe spaces for women. So Supergood is my company that I started, I think, close to 10 years ago. I was sort of at a crossroads in my career where I wanted to grow more and I felt like management wasn't at the top of its game and so I thought you know maybe I can switch hats and try something a little bit different so Supergood is a boutique talent management company and from that I've been able to evolve the brand into different things that we do uh, but primarily it was actually to help people with the trajectory of their careers um, not only in entertainment but in other areas like sort of managing personalities and we currently have four of us, including myself, that's on board. So Rachel Kwa, she's a child and family development specialist. So we do a lot of parenting workshops, master classes, anything that requires a lot of understanding of children and development. Then we have Melissa Tan, she's a sustainability advocate and she talks a lot about zero waste. She does clothing swaps and she's usually on a lot of speaker um, forums talking about what Malaysia can do and how we can be better. We also have Nana Al Halik and Nana is a fitness personality. Uh, she's a trainer, she's a TV host, she's a mogul, she's got brands under her um, and she's just an all around great, great girl uh, who really loves showing what fitness can do and how everyone can start at any place they are in their life you know whatever whatever size you are how how old you are or how much time you have she just shows you how fitness is possible so you know i have three amazing part um personalities that i manage who are so different from each other but it's really about uplifting each other and also supporting one another and i think from that from super good, it's kind of evolved into super retreat where it's really just helping women, period. You know, there's nothing else that we come in to, to sort of um, force or, or anything. It's just women that come to us are looking for a safe space. They're looking to connect with other people. They're looking to find answers. They're looking to come out more confident in whatever situation they're in, whether it's work, family, relationship. This is this is something that I've sort of created with some of my coaches and now it's grown to a, an interesting space that I'm really excited about. Yes, um, I think everyone's work has been affected. You can't have one industry without another. And I think with that, there's been a lot of pivot that's needed. Um, the good thing about Super Good and our personalities is that, you know, I tried to make them medium free. If I guess what it means is that you're not confined to one type of thing that you do. It's because your work transcends all platforms, all medium. And so, yes, with co with coronavirus, we had a lot a lot of our in person events were affected, but. We, when we were able to move stuff online, we were still able to thrive. And luckily we weren't as affected as other people. So um, yeah, on, on that respect, I think um, the girls are okay. Um, with events being canceled, people not having confidence to come out or to see each other or you know, trying to abide by the government's rules to stay at home. I think that was definitely a challenge, but we found a way to be able to connect with people online and um, with Super Retreat, you know, we grew from 100 to 700 <laughs> in six months. And it was just phenomenal, the, the kind of response that we got from the community and also not people just in Malaysia that we've been reaching out to, but the peripheral markets like Singapore, Indonesia, and also some in uh, the UK and, and North America as well. So um, we've definitely been affected, but I'm trying to look at it in a positive spin. It just showed us all these other opportunities we could look at that weren't only focused on in-person and and, uh, and live, so yeah. I mean, I think it's great that the vaccine is in Malaysia. I hope the government is able to have a very um, smooth uh, program for the entire country. 
I know that there's a lot of people that are worried about it. I've already registered to be vaccinated on the My Sajatra app. Um, I just think it's important for us to do our part and, and to be able to feel safe again. And, you know, so I'm, I'm really glad that it's that it's in this country. You know, I can't wait for the interstate travel ban to be lifted. I can't wait for the travel ban to be lifted. I think a lot of the Malaysians right now, including myself, are trying to do what we can to survive and to keep alive. And, and I think check on your neighbors, check on your friends, check on those that are not asking for help, offer help, and you never know who's going to take it. And if we continue to have that kind of attitude to support one another, I think that's just the best way to grow as a country and to stay connected as a country. And so, yeah, I mean, let's let's try to make sure that we get over this. What is it, that word, uh, the, the phrase, kita mesti menang. <laughs> so we can do this together and together we will. I could teleport myself. I think I would want to go to Canada <laughs> so I can visit my family. I think that to me is the most important thing right now is being isolated from my immediate family is, is tough. I mean, I've, I've grown to be accustomed to it, but I think when you know that, you know, there are impending dangers and all this kind of stuff that's out there, it's just, you just want to be close to family. And I think for me, that's something that um, I've definitely been thinking about. Um, I would say, I mean, just to travel or just to be in awe of amazing sights. Like, I always wanted to go to Cappadocia in Turkey and see all those hot air balloons. And it's just, oh, every time I look at it, I'm just like, oh, it's so magical. So I definitely want to go to Turkey or I want to go to Korea or I want to go to different parts of the world, um, South Africa, uh, see animals. Yeah, I mean, I, I just can't wait for for the travel ban to be over to start making plans again and to fly. I think when you are able to travel, you get to see the world, you get to see how other people live. I think that's when compassion comes into your life because you're able to make that, have that self-reflection of, you know, what you have and 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 what others have and, and just understand the world a little bit more is that when you see more of the world, you're going to understand the world. I can't, like Beyonce, <laughs> Rihanna, <laughs> these big pop, mega pop superstars. I mean, how they do it, how like just to be a fly on the wall, just to see their work ethic, just to see the impact that they make. I mean, that to me is, is so admirable. I mean, of course they've worked so hard to be where they're at, but what they do with that uh, power is also fantastic and that's something that I would love to to see. Dear Fly KLIA readers, uh, thank you so much for tuning into this video and I hope when the travel ban gets lifted we will all get to travel and see the world and share what it means to be Malaysian all around the world. <laughs>